Hey guys, Cruz here. Welcome back to Feed the Beast Crash Landings. Alright, so yeah, in the last episode, what we did was we set up a little robotic assembly line uh, over here. And yeah, it's, it was working great, working fantastic. Uh, the, only, the only bad thing about it is it's incredibly slow. So that's kind of what I want to remedy in this episode here. Um, I want to make <clears throat> one of those angry dolls. Uh, if you make an angry doll and then you throw it into a, uh, a barrel full of lava, it should spawn a blaze. And that's what we need. We need a blaze rod so we can make um, a brewing stand. So we can start making these potions for the upgrades for the pneumatic craft machines. So let's go ahead and start by making... Um, well, I already made the precious doll. All it is is some porcelain clay and a diamond. And then there you go. You got your precious doll. So now we need to convert this into an angry doll. And I believe... This is how it's done. There we go. Very nice. So now we have an angry doll. So all we need to do is um, grab a bucket of lava. I don't have a bucket on me. There we go. Let's grab a bucket of lava. I've already got a bucket out here set up and ready to go. So yeah, we'll just come out here. Um, you can use a wooden barrel, I think, but uh, the wooden barrels catch on fire. So I got a stone barrel, a stone barrel here. So let's go ahead and toss that lava in there. Let's go ahead and get this angry doll ready, and um, yeah, let's go ahead and toss it in. See what happens. All right, so there's some fire and stuff shooting out of it. That's a good sign, I guess. Let's get our scythe ready. <clears throat> I wonder how long it takes. It's definitely doing something. Sun's going down. Probably should have done this a little bit earlier in the day, but oh well, this is fine. Come on. Did it work? There it is. Oh, got him. <laughs> nice. Oh, sweet, we got three blaze rods too. Alright, excellent. So, <clears throat> now we can go ahead and make our brewing stand. We can go ahead and start making some uh, potions for the upgrades for the pneumatic craft machines. Also, another thing I want to start working on is the quest line. Um, so, yeah, we finished that. Um, we finished this. We went ahead and finished this. The uh, planter, harvester, and fruit picker. Although I'm not using the fruit picker. I am using the planter and the harvester. Uh, now I want to do this. The auto spawner auto anvil and auto enchanter that's gonna give us a safari net a reusable safari net and uh, that means we can catch things and and put them in the auto spawner and and spawn as many of them as we want pretty much which brings me to my next uh, little build that I built off camera here let me get some water and then I'll show you guys alright so actually let me go ahead and sleep <laughs> <clears throat> all right so here we are let's fill this guy back up there we go put the water back all right so over here yeah this is my mob spawner um pretty much it's just a building that's uh very dark on the inside uh i've got some conveyors over there um that's uh kind of uh what i, I put the conveyors over there because i was planning on having the auto spawner somewhere over there and i was going to spawn the enemies and, and bring them into this five by five area where the grinder can uh grind up these bad guys um, I also have a second level on there. It's the same as this level, except it doesn't have the conveyor belts. And there's a, an opening right here with some trap doors. So the mobs that spawn up there will eventually walk over the edge. Now the problem is they're spawning up there and they're just kind of hanging out. They're not moving. So what I'm thinking about doing is making some of those open blocks. Uh, is it open blocks? Yeah, the open blocks fans. And uh, setting them on the side. Uh, kind of blowing them towards this opening here so they all get pushed down. So I'm thinking I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, so far we have a lot of mob uh, juice, which is excellent. And I think we're running out of power. I'm um, using this reactant dynamo here. I completely forgot that we had this reactant dynamo. Uh, we got it for completing a quest. I can't remember exactly what quest it was. But uh, yeah, we got it from completing a quest. And um, see, the, the harvester over here creates um, sludge. And the reactant dynamo can use sludge as a, as a type of fuel. It's not very efficient, though. Uh, this thing's running out of sludge faster than I can make the sludge. So I think I'm going to go ahead and take that out. I'll go ahead and grab this energy cell here. 
and just set it over here. Alright, and that should be set up and good to go. There we go. So now it's got energy, so that should be fine. Um, so, okay, let's go ahead and, first of all, let's go ahead and make some upgrades for these machines. So we're going to need to make uh, swiftness, swiftness potions. Um, so let's grab some water. We're going to need four, four potions. Oh, you know what? We're going to need to make a brewing stand first, right? What is that? Uh, slabs, if I'm not mistaken. So let's go ahead and craft some of those guys up. I believe... Is it stone slabs? I can't believe, I can't remember. <laughs> Booing. Alright, here we go. Oh, it's not slabs, it's just blocks. Okay, why did I think it was slabs? Weird. Alright, so, let's go ahead and make a brewing stand. Boom, there we go. Now we have two blaze rods left. That's excellent. So let's take our brewing stand and set it down right there. And um, let's go ahead and put some empty bottles in this guy. Now we're going to need some nether wart to make the awkward potions. And then we're going to need sugar to turn the awkward potions into swiftness potions. And we're going to need four of these per recipe. Is that thing out of power? I think it is. Man, we're gonna need uh, some some energy. Okay, let's go ahead and grab this guy back, just so we can get rid of this tree here. There we go. Cut down the tree. This thing should have a little bit of juice left in it. Oh uh, yeah, it's not not very much though. <laughs> All right, you know what? We'll just leave it like that for now. Um, let's go ahead and get back to work. Getting distracted here. All right, so I'm gonna need three more of these after these are done okay so let's add some sugar into there and we're also gonna need to make some cakes so let's go ahead and make some cake this kind of cake I believe yeah so I think we have everything we need because we can use flour down here uh, we can use the eggs there we can use the sugar there and we can use the soy milk up here yeah and that'll give us some cakes so let's just go ahead and make one of those for now even though I can make a, a bunch more if needed I'll probably I'm gonna make a bunch more off camera, but I only wanna I only wanna do uh one for right now. So let's go ahead and put this stuff back in the food chest. Um there we go. Let's check these guys out. Alright, so we got our potions of swiftness. Now we're just gonna need at least one more potion of swiftness. So let's do that. We're also gonna need some lapis. And I think that's it. We're gonna need four pieces of lapis. Which we have we have a bunch of lapis, so that's that's not a big problem. All right, we're starting to get hungry. Let's go grab some food real quick. How about... What do we want? How about some fried chicken? That sounds pretty good. Delicious. All right, so I believe it goes like that. And then the swiftness potions go like this. And I need one more. And then the cake goes in the middle. Oh, I need sugar. All right, there we go. <clears throat> and that should... We'll have two left over, actually. Which is fun. Because, like I said, eventually I'm going to make a bunch of these upgrades and stuff, so... All right, come on. Boom. All right, I'll just grab that one, put that in there, and then there you go. You got your machine upgrade speed. Very nice. So yeah, one upgrade probably isn't going to affect it very much, so I'm going to make a bunch of them, and like I said, I'll probably do that off camera, uh, just because it seems a little bit boring, <laughs> but uh, I'll definitely show you guys the results after uh, upgrading the machines and whatnot. I'll show you how fast they are and stuff. So I'm just going to go ahead and put some of this stuff back here, the glowstone and the redstone and whatnot, a uh, bunch of gunpowder on us got some cobblestone and stuff. Alright, so I tell you what guys, I'm going to go ahead and make a little cut right here. I'm going to make some more of those upgrades. I'm going to kind of clear out my inventory, get everything situated and everything, and I'll bring you guys right back. Alright guys, so here we are. We are back. And um, yeah, I went ahead and made, I've got five upgrades here. So, I'm going to go ahead and um, I want to show you guys, I went ahead and left this empty for now. I want to show you guys the, uh, the difference in speed. 
So let's go ahead and toss one of these guys in here. And that robot should go ahead and grab it. Now this is with absolutely zero speed upgrades. <clears throat> so as you can see, it's pretty slow. Almost painfully slow, I'd say. So yeah, it takes forever. Let's go ahead and add in some upgrades and see if that does anything. Boom. So yeah, you can see it's a lot faster now. Look at that. Oh yeah. Let's go ahead and put the rest of these in here. Oh yeah, that's 100% better. Look at that. And boom. Done. This guy's going to grab another one. Yeah, it's a lot faster. That's awesome. So cool. All right, now we can also add a, a speed upgrades to our like our air compressors and, and stuff like that, I think. Yeah, we can add them to this PCB. Uh, you're the UV light box too, but I don't think we really need that. Um, I believe we can also add them to the pressure chamber interfaces. Yeah, so I've only got one speed upgrade left, so I'm, gonna, I'm just going to go ahead and hold on to it for now. Uh, let's go ahead and sleep through the night. All right, there we go. Now, the next thing I want to do is... Hmm, what do I want to do? I definitely want to start working on either making the fans for that thing, which I can probably do that off camera. Um, I want to start working on this auto spawner. Well, and the other machines in that uh, in that quest line. So let's type in auto and we'll check out the auto spawner here. So that's going to require some magma creams, plastic, another machine frame, um, some emeralds and stuff. All that's pretty easy. We have all that stuff. So let's go ahead and grab some blaze powder so we can make some uh, cream, some of the magma cream. Uh, oh, we're also going to need a couple emeralds. Let's grab a couple of them. Um, what else are we going to need from out here? Anything? No, nether wart, plastic, okay, all that stuff's inside, I believe. Alright, so I believe we're also going to need... Oh, you know what? We're going to need some redstone. So let's grab some of that. Ten pieces ought to cover it. Alright, so... I believe it is... Make one of those guys. Um, plastic. We're gonna need some plastic, but first, let's go ahead. Oh, I need slime balls. Just two of them, and let's go ahead and turn those into magma creams and plastic and nether wart. One nether wart. Um, where's my plastic at? Here it is. Alrighty. Oh yeah, the machine frame. Duh. The most important part. <laughs> Alright, so that should be no problem. Because we have a ton of these guys. We have 30 of them. And we have a bunch of these transistors as well. So let's go ahead and craft these up. Oh, I just heard a creeper blow up. Do we have enough redstone? Yes, we do. Alright, so... Let's see if I can remember this. There's that. And then put the redstone around it like that, and that'll give us that. <clears throat> oh, and then we're going to need Electrum, Glass, and uh, Electrum, Glass, and Invar. So let's grab some glass. There we go. Alright, so I believe the glass goes like that. The Electrum, like that. And the Invar, like that. And then there we go. We got, we got our machine frame. So there's that. I believe. Can we? Yes. We can just shift click, and boom, there's our auto spawner. Very nice. So we got that done. Now we just need the auto anvil and the auto enchanter. Hmm. Okay. Auto anvil. So that's going to be three anvils, plastic, another machine frame, and another redstone reception coil. So let's go ahead and make that reception coil. And we're going to need another machine frame. So we should probably just go ahead and craft up a bunch of these guys. Oops. There we go, seven more of them. We're going to need some more redstone. For sure. Let's grab a half stack. We're running low on redstone. That's all the redstone I have. So, go through redstone pretty quickly in this. Alright. Um, where are you? There you are. We're going to need some more plastic. No problem. I've got some. I've got plenty of plastic. Alright, so now redstone make a couple of these because I'm sure we're going to need one for the next machine as well. 
Alright, so we'll just make two of those guys. For now. Glass. Electrum. Invar. There we go. There's another machine frame and one more machine frame. There we go. Very nice. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and toss this stuff back in here. Just to give us a little free space. Alright, now let's see. Auto anvil. You know, I've already got three anvils made up. Boom, right there. Let's get some water because we're low on water. There we go. Alright, where were we? Auto anvil. So, machine frame, I think we have everything we need. Boom, there we go. Auto anvil. Very nice. <clears throat> so now we need the auto enchanter. Alright, I've never made the auto enchanter before. I've made the auto disenchanter, but never the auto enchanter. So, here we are. We're going to need a piece of obsidian, <clears throat> the machine frame, two diamonds, another one of those coils, piece of gold. Let's go ahead and make up this coil real quick. There we go. Uh, what else are we going to need? No. Auto Enchanter. Let's see. Two books, two diamonds, obsidian. There's that. Make our two books here. There we go. <clears throat> now we need to make some obsidian. Just one piece. So let's set this to obsidian real quick, and that's going to probably use up our either our water or our lava, one of the two. Or both. <laughs> Alright, so now we're going to need some more lava and a little bit more water to get this guy going again. And I did upgrade that barrel, as you guys can see, right here. So now it can hold 704 stacks which is pretty cool and that's gonna be full pretty soon I'm gonna to have to upgrade it again uh, but yeah for now it's fine alright so we got our obsidian oh yeah diamonds we need two diamonds alright should be no problem we have plenty of diamonds and I believe this is gonna do it I don't think I'm missing anything auto enchanter there we go Boom! Auto Enchanter. So that should finish that quest, yes. And that's going to give us a bunch of cool stuff. That's going to give us two diamond hammers that look like they're enchanted. It's going to give us eight bottles of enchanting. It's going to give us this safari net, which is what I really wanted. And it's going to give us another safari net, and I'm not really sure what this means. Uh, so it's a different color. Usually they're white, but this is like cycling through different colors and stuff. I'm not sure what that means. Um, so let's go ahead and claim the reward. There we go, very nice, we finished that. Completed. So let's check and see what this safari net's all about. It is a mystery, it says. So I wonder if that just spawns like a random mob. Um, that'd be kind of neat. Okay, so now what we can do is we can catch mobs in this safari net. We can put them in the auto spawner and just spawn them uh, non-stop, which is pretty cool. I need to come up with a better power source, though, before I start doing that. Because, uh... Yeah, that reactant dynamo just wasn't really keeping up, not even with the grinder. Uh, the harvester isn't keeping up with the sludge production, so... Yeah, it's just uh, something we're going to have to figure out. But until then, let's go ahead and put these guys away for now. Okay, so this has Unbreaking 3, Fortune 3, Unbreaking 3, Fortune 3. That's awesome. So, I wonder, does that actually affect... Um when you're breaking the ores like that, I wonder? There's only one way to find out. Let's go ahead and put this away. We'll put that away. Um, Alright, so let's grab this. We got four of these, so we'll make a stack of uh, iron gravel. Now let's go ahead and set this down and see what these hammers do. Alright, so we'll go ahead and just use half stack. So that gave us five. That seems like Fortune's doing something. I don't know. I could be wrong.
All right, so out of 32, we got two and a half stacks. So out of a half a stack, we got two and a half stacks. That's not bad. It, it seems like that's uh, pretty good. All right, now let's check the ore sand. So we had 40 of those. It's very quick, I know that. <laughs> Alright, so we got three three stacks and fifteen pieces. Yeah, I think the fortune does affect this. Pretty sure. Alright, very nice. So that gave us fifty one iron dust out of uh half a stack of the iron gravel. And this uh each one of these will will give us uh, three ingots each piece. So wow, that's not that's actually not bad. Of course I have this thing shut off. Just heard another creeper. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go ahead and put these hammers away. Very handy. Very nice. Plastic way at the reacting dynamo. All right, very nice, very nice. All right, guys, I'll tell you what. I'm going to go ahead and take a little break here and figure out what we're going to do for the rest of this episode, and I will be right back. All right, guys, so here we are. We're back. Um, I decided that I want to, as you can see, yeah, the see those mobs just hanging out up there. They're not doing anything. So I'm going to go ahead and add these fans. I went ahead and built the fans. They're really easy to build. Uh, it's just uh, iron bars, iron, and a slab and that'll give you a fan. Now they do need a redstone signal in order to work so I went ahead and made uh, a couple redstone torches here so what I'm gonna do is this is just a temporary little platform that I can just stand on I don't know if six fans is gonna be enough or not oops but we shall see I can hear a bunch of them in there Okay, so what we can do is there's a bunch of them. Okay, so what we can do is we'll break out. Hmm, let me think about this. Hmm. Okay, well let's just uh. So if we put a fan here. That's face the wrong way, of course. So if we put one like that, there we go, that should work. If we put a redstone signal there, that does work, that does push them. But it doesn't seem to, well, the spiders, yeah. Hmm, alright, let's try over here. See if we can push this zombie and this skeleton. Okay, I think that's going to work. So we'll just need to put these at different intervals. So one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oops, that seems a little crooked. One, two, three. And there we go. That should do it. So now... Of course, we're going to need to uh, cover these back up. Now, I don't know if you can use the black blackout curtains right there. Say if we put the blackout curtains right here, I don't know if the fans will still work that way. But uh, we can definitely give that a shot. Um, now, I'm not really sure what to do with these spiders. Um, I mean, I don't really care if they're up there. But it's kind of a pain. I might need to uh, maybe put some water up there just to, to help wash them down. So I don't know, that's something I might do. <clears throat> uh, in the meantime, it looks like we're out of power and we have tons of mobs down there, which is fine. That's fine. I'm not going to worry about that right now. Let's go ahead and make some of the... Whoops. Let's go ahead and make some of those blackout curtains. Matter of fact, I might have some. No, I don't. So we're going to need some wool. So let's go ahead and make up some wool. What is that? woven cotton. Okay, not really sure what that's for. So this should give us 12 of them, which is plenty. Now let's go try this out. I hope it still works. Alright. 
Put a blackout curtain there. Put one there. Crap. <laughs> All right. One there. One there. One there. Now, hopefully that works. It should. Lots of mobs in there. Okay, now I don't know. It looks like it's still bright in here, but I'm not sure... We'll have to wait until some mobs spawn up there. Hopefully they still do. Um, yeah, but we'll just have to wait and see. So let's get rid of this. For now. Oh, I've got heat stroke. Let's head inside before we die. <laughs> let's get some water. Alright, hopefully this heat stroke goes away. About six seconds. Alright, there we go. Very nice. Okay. So I'm not seeing any mobs spawning up there. Oh, there goes one. Okay, I saw it. Okay, so that's cool. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to do something about those spiders up there. I'm not really liking that. Um, now, I don't know if putting water up there will help or not. Maybe you guys have some ideas or something that could help me out. Uh, yeah, it's kind of annoying. Alright, let's go ahead and break this so we can get some power over here to kill these guys. We're going to have to figure out a power situation too. We're getting all kinds of neat stuff though. And a ton of mob juice. Which we need the mob juice to run the auto spawner, so it's perfect. <clears throat> Alright. Very nice, very nice. Or, well, maybe I can just put like a second grinder up there uh, just for those spiders. <laughs> That's an idea. Alright, well, that works. Alright, cool. Um, okay, guys, well, I think I'm going to go ahead and call it there for this episode. Um, it was pretty. Uh, pretty good. We got some stuff done. We got some upgrades done for our pneumaticraft machines. Uh, we got this cool zombie spawner thing made. Now, I'm just going to kind of brainstorm on uh, power ideas and uh, stuff like that, just to make things a little more efficient, uh, so I don't have to keep moving these energy cells back and forth and whatnot. But uh, yeah, thank you guys very much for watching. I really appreci appreciate any uh, tips or hints or anything like that, so uh, please feel free to leave a comment. Um, if you liked the video, please leave a like. And um, yeah, I will talk to you guys later.